Hi there, welcome back to JD Answers. Today I have the Santang front and rear dash camera. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you the unboxing today. Now after the unboxing, I'm also gonna do the installation of this dash cam. I'm also gonna show you step by step and how to, to uh, set the menu. And then I'm also gonna show you some driving footage with this. So let's get into this. Once I complete the videos, I'll put links in the description down below for you to view. All right, so let's get into this. All right, so let's open this up here. Oh, it's a pull-out tab. And then we'll open it up. And you, yep, the first thing is the dash cam itself. And it's inside this bubble wrap. And it also has this protective covering here. And... You can see how the screen is. It looks like it's a three inch screen. It also has a protective covering on there. Uh, I, my recommendation is do not pull this off until you have installed it and you tested the dash cam and it's ready to go. And it usually has one of the lens and you can see that red dot is the, uh, the tap to pull the protective covering on. Now, sometimes some people say, well, the, the dash cam looks distorted. It's because they didn't take the protective covering on there. And there's the microphone right here in the front. And it's a slide on with the, mount, uh, the suction cup. It's a mini USB type of power. I think this is gonna be the power. And this is HD, so this is a mini HD. So this is gonna be from the rear camera. And you can see it has a, a little thickness on the lens there, which is probably gonna be a Sony lens on there. Uh, let's see here. It has right here RES and this is probably going to be your reset. Oh, and this is your mic right here. So this must be the sound here. I'm assuming I haven't gone through the whole thing yet. And on the side, you're going to see the buttons. Now here it already has a micro SD card. I believe it's a 32 gigabyte micro SD card. And let me pull this out just to make sure. And yep, you can see it there, a Santong 32 gigabyte. Uh, as we get into the specs, we'll find out what is the maximum to use for this dash cam. And it's always best to use the maximum that it comes with. Now this is a probably just a starter micro SD card. So when we go through the specs, we'll see if there is anything larger that you could use because you do want to use the largest capacity. Because once you get into your gravity sensor, your loop recording, you're going to want more space to record all those uh, driving footage you have. Now I'm on, on the side with the micro SD card. And, and just a little note, if you wanna know how to take these out, these are all spring loaded. So all you do is you get your fingernail or something in there, yeah, my, my nail is bruised, and just poke it, just push it in, and then it'll come slide right out. And then to, do, and to insert it is the same thing. Just push it in and it'll spring. And on the other side for the menu here, it looks like this one says OK. This was M for menu. This one is going to be a lock symbol to lock the current video that you're driving uh, in case you see an incident. And it looks like this one here is your power button. And usually with the, when they, the more buttons you have, the easier it is going to be to maneuver through the menu, set your menu and go and toggle between the menus. All right, so that's the camera itself. It's pretty clean, sleek uh, look. And let's get to the next item. All right. And the first thing we have here is the uh, the wires for the uh, the dash cam, and you can see it has the uh, the mini USB sticking out here on the packaging. All right. So let's go ahead and open this packaging up. I'm going to move this box to the side, and they can start seeing what's inside here. Now the camera itself usually separates from the wire. And let me show you here how it goes. All right, so here we are. This is the connection from the camera itself to the, uh, the rear wire, which is the rear uh, audio um, and power cable right here. Okay, so, and most of these, they just pop them out, in and out. And you're gonna see an indention, which is right here you see that indention. And on the other side, you're gonna have the same thing. 
and the indention is right there where you can see it okay and those you just simply just push it in together with the indentions going the same way and you see there might be some arrows uh, no I don't see arrows on this one but you do see that line indicating where it goes all right and that's all you do you just uh, put them together all the indentions are in there and that's it slide it in that's how easy it is because usually what you do is you install the dash cam on your vehicle first uh, and then you when you're installing the wires from the inside your car and then you just put them together once you're ready for the installation because one goes on the outside of the car routed inside and then this one's on the inside and you just put them together all right so let's move on now this one does come with the red wire which means you could turn this dash cam into a backup camera if you need it most newer cars you don't need this however there are some older cars out there that don't have the access for a backup camera so when you need one well this is it and it's always good to have a backup camera no matter what size of car you have because even if you have a small vehicle uh, if you're getting uh, close to the curb or some sign or whatever it is you want to make sure you're not too close to it and of course if you do a lot of fishing on some older trucks and you need a backup camera to match the hitch on there these things are are a perfect thing to use from this this gives you all your, your eyes that you need. Rather than going back and forth, back and forth, the backup camera saves you all that time. All right, so this one goes inside the dash cam itself. This will be routed to the front of the vehicle towards the window shield. And this end, will, of course, as we talked about, will be attached to the dash cam. All right, I think you get about, a, I'm assuming it's about 11 feet, but we'll get to that later. Now, on the dash cam itself, you can see these little yellow, uh, kind of like stickers inside there. These are like LEDs, so when it gets dark, these things are going to brighten up. That way, you could record some nighttime vision. It's not going to be perfect, but it's going to get you to what you need. So, this is th these are pretty neat to have all these LEDs in there. And these uh, cameras are weatherproof because they're on the outside. So, these are weatherproof cameras. All right, now in mounting these rear dash cams, you could actually just mount this. It usually has two screws in there, which I think in this packet, yeah, there they are. There's two screws and you could attach it to your vehicle in the back. Now, if you don't want to do that, you could use these 3M adhesive strips. And I got to tell you, these things work. No matter if it's raining, cold, snow, these things really stick. Because I used to mount these with these screws what I found out is, because I didn't trust these at first, but these adhesive strips, they really work. So um, my recommendation is use these strips. And if and you when you install this, and if you get to an area where you have to maneuver this or um, you need a different angle, these things are bendable. You see that? You could bend these. And no matter where you bend it, it's real nice and firm in there. So these are pretty good. All right, so that's the wires itself. All right, so what we're gonna do next is take out the next item. Let's push all this out. All right, so let's get the next item, which this is gonna be the power cord. And let's see what we got here. This is a pretty standard power cord. The good thing about this one is it has a, uh, a USB uh, connection in here. So in case you only have one power socket or cigarette port, you, you put this in there. And some of the DAS cams don't have this availability to charge anything or to use a USB port. So this is pretty neat. So you get the access of charging your phone even though the power socket is taken with the DAS cam, you could still charge your phone. And, and you also have, okay, again, this is a mini USB cable. All right, so this is pretty neat. I like this. And here is the suction cup itself. This is a pretty standard suction cup. Uh, it does have a little uh, protective covering right here. So that way it mounts it on there. It has a little stickiness, not, not too much. It has a small amount. And you can see where this is not a one, like a, something you put a sticker on. This is just plastic that goes in there. But you can see how it stays on there. 
all right and all you do to install this is just make sure this is vertical because you can't adjust it left and right once it's installed you could go move it front or back but you can't move it left or right so you got to make sure you install this in a vertical uh, position okay once you install this the lever here you see there is a lock and right here you're going to see let me move this tab out of the way there is an unlock symbol there so when you install it it's it's unlocked and then once you attach it to your window shield exactly where you want it you push it in there and then you just turn the knob here to the lock position and your camera will be mounted where it will not move so this is pretty neat that that locking me mechanism really does work and then once you're like you need to move it or reposition it switch it to the unlock use this tab here to pull out or pull pull i guess inward and it'll come apart from your window shield and you can uh, reattach this with no problems and then once you position it and if you need to go forward or back you loosen this tidy knob here just loosen that one like so and then you could adjust it go back and forth to what you need it and then once you get it to where you need just tighten it back up and it won't move now we talked about the dash cam we talked about how it's a sliding okay let me get the dash cam back and you can see how there's a larger opening on one side and thinner on the next one because then you put the mount in and you slide it to the lock position and on this uh, on this mount you can see how it goes straight in there okay uh, most some of them you have like a little um, indention here where it's like a stopper all right so that way you can set it a certain way this one doesn't have that which is great so all you got to do is get your dash cam and push that in there as shown here and you could just slide it up all right i'm going to put it in there here it goes and then just slide it up and then you'll feel a little um, little click and then when you're done, just slide it back out. When you install it, get it in there and then slide it to the, to the right there. That's how easy, or depending on which way you have it. But that's it. It's a slide in and out, and it's very firm. You can see that. You see how it stays in there? It's not moving around. It's not coming. In other words, it's not coming out. It's not falling out. It's staying in there. And that's how you set that up. All right, now let's go ahead and continue. And next, I believe this is by a mini USB cable, and it is. And what this cable is, is that you could attach this to your dash cam where the power cable is at. And then what this does is that um, you could attach the other end to your laptop, or if you take the camera off itself, and say you take it off your car, okay? And then you go inside to your computer or laptop, whatever you have that has a connection for the uh, the USB, the USB A here. And then you simply just plug this into the dash cam itself, like that. And then the other end, you attach it to the computer. And then this will act like a flash drive or you install in an SSD drive. That's all it is. It, so it opens up that file and then you could transfer the, the, the files from your dash cam to your computer. You could do it as a copy and paste, or you could drag the files to a file that you have open. It's the same thing as a flash drive. Now, I haven't gone into this, so but sometimes they, on the menu it says front for all the front videos, and there is another file that called rear. Or there's a file folder that says A for the, all the front files, or B for all the rear camera files. So just take a look at when you get in there, which one you need. And if you go through my menu process, my menu video, which will be coming soon, it'll have all that information in there. All right, so this is what this cable is. This is pretty neat that it gives you that one. All right, so we'll take that out. And let's continue with the unboxing. And you're gonna have this bag, okay? This bag has the, um, uh, uh, and I call this a pry bar and what this is this pry bar you could pry the wires between the headliners the a pillars and anywhere around that you need to hide the wires and this is a real nice tool 
Oh, forgot that. And all you do is just, just guide the wire inside like this as shown, or you slide them in there. That's how you use this. So, th so this is really neat. All right, next what we got in there, this is your cloth here to wipe the camera down as needed. Like for example, right now it has the cover on there, but there's a lot of smudges on there. And then this one you could wipe here, the, the, uh, the camera itself or the lens itself here. Kind of like what you use for your cameras or cell phones. All right, next we're gonna have is these little tabs here. I believe they give you three of them, okay? And what these are is when you install your wires, say on your window shield, you just route the wires in there. It's kind of like cable management in there, all right? Which is the tackiest thing you could do. We're not gonna use these, I never use these. These are just going in the trash because if you watch all my installation videos, when we install the dash cam, all these wires are not shown anywhere. All these wires are hidden, okay? So stay tuned for these videos and that way you can install your, your dash cam without any showing any wires. All right, next we have this here. This is pretty neat. This is where you put your micro USB card in here if you wanna transfer files from your dash cam to the uh, to your computer and rather than taking the dash cam off and using the uh, mini USB cable all you got to do is get your micro SD card which is right here inside the dash cam as and then all you simply do is push in the 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 uh, the micro SD card because it's a, a spring action and then you get your um, your flat your drive here and you slide the card in there and then this is becomes a flash drive you treat this exactly like a flash drive thumb drive whatever you want to call it it's the same thing and you just put it into your computer uh, USB slot and that's it now if you install the the uh, the micro SD card it'll let you know if you're installing it the wrong way so you can see the wording here now if you install it where is the back of it it's not gonna go in, it's stuck. That means it's installed wrong. So for this dash cam, make sure the wordings are facing you and that way you can install the micro SD card into this card reader. And then this becomes a flash drive and you treat it the same. And then you could copy and paste the files or drag the files to a file folder that you have open or that you want them to. So this is pretty neat. I always like when they put when they add these. These are always extras that they don't have to give you, but they do, and this makes a big difference. All right, and the next thing I see here, I forget what they call this, but when you need to reset your dash cam, and all you gotta do is get the tip of this here and push it inside where it says R-E-S. Don't, in, don't put it on the mic. Put it on the RES and you simply just push it in there and it'll reset the dash cam. That's all. This is what this is for. So that's pretty neat. It gives you everything you pretty much need for this dash cam. All right. It looks like what we got left is pretty much paperwork. So let's see what kind of stuff it has in here. All right. So it gives you installation on the rear camera in the front and rear and the display modes it has. So this is really neat. This is kind of like a little uh, um, cheat, uh, cheat card. So this is pretty neat. And it tells you about how to install the wires as we were talking about before. And it gives you some more, uh, some more tips on this. So this is pretty neat. And it asks you some quests, some normal questions. And, and I guess like a troubleshooting guide. And it, it gives you all that information here, the power source. Make sure to keep it plugged in because this is very important because this dash cam only works with the uh, the power adapter, which it goes into the power socket or the cigarette thing. Now this will hold a small charge of 30 seconds or less or maybe a minute or less just to get you some parking uh, videos, but then that is it. If you want to, to keep your dash cam on at all times, then you need a hard wire kit. But if you need more information on how to install a hard wire kit, I'll put a link on the top right for you. And then again, it gives you more information about formatting and about loop recording. It'll give you some reasons why you can't loop record or there's, 
or why does it say the dash cam is full? You need to format your dash cam when you have loop recording. But there's information on G sensor and loop recording that go hand in hand. And it's why I said earlier to maximize the, the card that you put on your dash cam because the G sensor and the loop recording become a big play in how much space you have. But if you need more information on G sensor and loop recording, I'll put a link in the top right for you for that. All right, but let's move on. Next, we have the manual itself. Uh, it looks like it's a pretty thick manual. And let's see, it gives you uh, some tips. Uh, it gives you, uh, before you use a camera, what you should know. It gives you a layout of the, the gas cam itself. It gives you information on the icons. It gives you how to install it, how to connect it, even for the rear and for the trunk itself and how to hook up the red wire, which this is probably the first time I've seen a manual that tells you how to install the red wire. All right, it gives you information about the menu, which is pretty neat. This gives you a lot of information. And again, it gives you about the card reader and how to and how to you can use it on your computer and where you're able to use it as a flash drive. So this manual gives you a lot of information, which I'm gonna use this, reference this a lot. Uh, to give me some information too. Now, this is the model A9 on the Santong dash cam front and rear camera. And just remember, the installation is coming up soon on this. All right, now let's go ahead and turn this on and see if it works. Because anytime you install a dash cam, you always want to make sure that it works first prior to installing this. Because you don't want to install the front dash cam and the rear camera without testing it and then you realize something's wrong and you've done all the installation process on there, then you gotta take everything back off. So it's always good to test the, the dash cam. So let's go ahead and fire this up and do that. I got this connected to a wall charger, all right? This is a mini USB cable. I'm going to connect it here to the top and it should uh, power on the dash cam. Now what you don't wanna do is plug this into your computer because that will turn this into a mass storage. Again, which should turn it like to a flash drive. So turn this into your wall charger. All right, so let's see, it get you closer. Right now you can see how it's on. And you can see the camera moving around, got the box and put these wires right in front. You can see that. And now what we're gonna do is test the rear camera next. All right, I got the rear camera right here and we got the screen. And we're gonna try to see if we could and there you go. Let me try to get to the clear picture of the picture in picture. All right, there you go. And you could see it all going around. I'm moving the, the camera around and you could see all that what's going all that's being recorded. So the camera, the front camera works and the rear camera works as well. All right, there you go. So if this video was helpful for you, please give me that thumbs up because that really helps the channel and it's like a thank you. If you want to donate or be a Patreon member, there's information in the links down below to do that. Your membership and donations really help this channel to buy more products for this because everything, every product I have is I bought it out of my own pocket. So if you want to see more, more DAS cams or more, or more products that you want to see, please help me by becoming a member or donating below. If you have any questions or comments about these dash cams or other products I have, leave them in the comment section down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Now, just remember, I don't work for the vendor itself because I buy all these products. So I answer them as best as knowledge I can. I keep all the product in case I need to reference anything back. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, select all notifications for all upcoming videos. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe.